What will this mean in terms of the ability of the engineering school to educate the students that are coming here? It's monumental. It, it is... Um, it puts us now at the national and global playing field that we need to be on to advance the technologies that we develop in this college and the training and experiential learning opportunities that we need to provide to our students. This allows us to do this now. And, uh, sorry. What kind of um, engineering um, work will be done in the new in the in the renovated area in the well, expanded areas. Yeah, all of our engineering disciplines will be addressed in these areas. Uh, we're going to have maker space. We're going to have the advanced capstone space for our senior design. We're going to have experiential learning labs. We're going to have finally the infrastructure that we desperately need for our world-class faculty, our, both our current and those we're trying to recruit. I want this College of Engineering, and, and all of us here want us to be globally renowned as the college of choice for educating engineering leaders, for biomedical innovations, for big data analytics, and for sustainability infused, we're saying FEWS, food, energy, water, and smart cities. We have not had the the up-to-date facilities and infrastructure up to this point. And I think as you do this tour and see now what we can offer our almost 4,000 engineering students for the state-of-the-art experiential space and learning labs that have been so desperately needed, it, it's, it's completely, uh, it, it's life-changing from, from my perspective. How many additional students will you be able to accommodate with this um, expansion? So this has not been an expansion. This has been a renovation of these facilities that were, uh, frankly, incredibly outdated. So we have been trying to squeeze in all the students we have had that we've, we've been very fortunate in engineering to have had a continual increase in enrollment over over recent years. Uh, so we have over 3,300 undergrads, over 600 grad students, and we plan on really significantly growing uh, some of those populations. So we now finally, and, and this still is, as a renovation, is still not even enough for what we can and need to do, but it is a critical step in that process. All right.